Hello friends, welcome to another Arduino programming lesson and in this lesson we will going to read the uh, RTC module DS1307 using Arduino Uno. So we basically will going to read the clock parameters and the calendar data like the second minutes, hours, day, date, month, year and so on and so forth. Basically we are implementing an I2C communication protocol uh, to read the data from the RTC module. So that's the reason why we have to include first the wire.h library that's the I2C uh, library and then we have to define the macro and that will be RTC address 0x68 which is the slave address every I2C device has a unique slave address and this 0x68 is the slave address of DS1307. So then we have to go to the setup function and we just have to say wire.begin. So this will start the I2C communication. Then we have to say serial.begin. So this will start the serial communication. 9600 is about right. And once it is done, then we have to go to the loop function here. And we just have to say display time. And this function basically will uh, read the um, second, minute, hour, so on and so forth, this data. And this will read after delay of every one second. So that means a thousand milliseconds. Okay. Now you might say like, we have not read yet any data from the RTC, then how could we display, right? So it's not the end of the program. We just have to copy this and then we have to write this function void display time and here goes the function now another question is how can we display the time when we didn't even read we don't know the value so we have to make one more function it's a read uh, the function name is read time we can give any name i would like to give it a name like read time and this function will have to uh, read uh, the seven parameters and the seven parameters is basically it's reading the seven register address uh, it is because uh, if you look at the data sheet timekeeping registers so this register from 00, 0 to 0, 06 that means a seven registers in a row in a sequence we want to read and every uh, register address like 0 x 00, 00 for seconds 0, 01 is for minutes 0 2 is for hour and just so on and so forth so like so we have to basically have to define a pointer byte pointer second for the second the byte pointer for minute then another byte pointer hour byte day byte date byte month byte pointer year so because these are the addresses that we want to uh, read that's the reason why we define this all pointers right and if you just like one two three four five six seven because we have to read the seven registers right we have to store the seven register addresses and that's the reason why we define the pointer here and now we can write the program and the program is wire.begin transmission this will start the i2c communication and it will be rtc address this is our device rtc address slave address this is basically the rtc address right and then we just have to say wire.write and this will write the first address that's the 0x00 that means 0 basically then wire.n transmission and this will end the i2c communication it's just initialize the communication then there is another function that we have to call from the wire library and that's the request from request from and this will basically will request the data from the device RTC address basically and then we have to give how many bytes that we want to read and we want to read the seven bytes every bytes is a piece of data like a second minutes hours and so on and so forth 
So we'll say uh, seven bytes that we want to read from our slave device, uh, RTC1307. Um, and then we just have to define this pointer, like the second pointer. We want to store, right, in the second pointer. So we want to store this into this one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, right? So this will be like a minute. This will be hour. This will be day. This will be date. This will be month. And this will be year. Okay. And then we can just say wire.read because we want to read it. So this will read one byte of data. Now the problem is this RTC uh, chip in the RTC chip, this data from bit 0 to bit 7 is mapped into the BCD. So look at this BCD format. The content of time and calendar register are in BCD format. And because it's a BCD, we can't read this into the decimal number that the human animal could understand. So we have to create a function and this function is kind of BCD to decimal conversion, right? So let me just write it here just to give me a reference. And this is the function that we have to create. So I can just copy this name. It's just a name that I have done. And this is function will return the byte and let me just write the code here and this will be another byte variable and just give it a name like value and this will return and there's a little formula you can look on the internet if you don't know this so 16 multiplied by 10 value divided by and then say plus value and modulo operator and then 16 right so this is a little formula to convert the bcd to a decimal number uh, that's the way we're gonna read the the binary coded decimal that is a bcd number into the decimal and finally we can print in our serial monitor i can copy this few lines of code and then paste it here and then i would just give this name like decimal to bcd this function will be useful uh, to write into the chip we will not going to write this straight away but uh, we will be required in the future so let me just create this function as well and this equation will change a little bit and this will be like modulo 10 that's the difference so control a and control T and this will format your code and looks a little bit more beautiful right so these are the two functions that we have written here so coming back to the code oh my god this has changed here so let me just do a little bit of hard work here I don't know why that happens but it just happens and when you're recording the video it's it's not easy my friends really it's not easy and I just and the best it here we want to read and store in every pointer correct so this will read the data from the RTC now if you just understand the seconds we don't want to we don't want to mingle with the last bit so we have to do ending with 0x7f and this is because if you look at the data sheet, you see the CH that is a seventh bit um, that we don't want to touch. So we make it zero and that's always ending with zero with results to zero. Similarly, in the hour register address, we don't want to touch this two bits, bit six and bit seven. And that's the reason in the hour section this hour section we have to read and then do ending with 0x3f uh, number right so that's how uh, let me do control a and control t to align the code and now looks better okay looks perfect and then we have to go to the display time function which will help us to display the data that we read and here we have to uh, define the variable byte second minute 
our day, date, month, and year. Okay, these are the uh, variable in which we want to store this this byte that we read from this this pointer, right? Pointer variable basically. And then we will call this function read time. This is the function that we just have created. Look at this read time. Let me just copy, put it here so there's no typo mistake. And then I'm going to pass all those variable and I'm just dereferencing this pointer within n percent, right? So n percent second, n percent minute, hour, day, date. Oh, my cursor month and year okay and then we just have to say serial dot print we want to print the second okay just to copy and paste this is very long code by the way you have to have a lot of patience and then only you can able to make it work right so just me just copy this so I just print the second, then I print this minute, minute variable, and then our variable, right? Let me align the code. And then I have to print one more thing. And that is basically a day, right? So it's a Friday today, my favorite day. And I give a little space between it because this dot will not look a little bit better. So I just removed it. Then I copy the whole, this few lines of code and paste it down below here, right? And this will be like a uh, date. And then this slash will look better. Date and then month slash again and then year variable okay and finally i'm going to say ln new line so every time when we uh, call this display time function it will print on a new line this all parameters right so that's how it is so i hope there won't be any <laughs> error or issue but let me just make sure the com port and upload the code and see if i can able to read the data from the rtc chip So you can see lower left corner done uploading and I open serial monitor and you see I start getting the data and you see the seconds are keep changing 32, 33, 34, right? So whatever. But if you look at my computer clock, then it's a three past 50. This is in the afternoon. So it's basically somewhere like 15 past, like 50 past 15 or something. So let me change this time, right? So we have to set the time into the uh, RTC module. And this date is fine because I already tested my code in the afternoon. So you can see here, the minute was 50, 45. Now it's a 46. So it does work, right? Perfect. So let's change or maybe let's add one more function into the program. And this function is let me just wait. Set time. So this will help us to write the current time into the RDC chip. And uh, here we have to take the variable and we need basically we have to pass seven variables, right? And these are that variables, right? I can't type because I hope you understand my pain, right? Typing so much of a code is is painful it's really painful nobody on youtube could write this long code live i'm just trying to test my patience and the byte here okay so i think that's right like second minutes hour day date month and year right so here we have to say wire wire dot begin transmission 
and we have to begin transmission RTC address let me just copy and paste the more copy paste will save you making the typo mistake and because I'm recording and typing the code at the same time my life is very difficult here so wire dot write and I will write the first location that is 0x00 and once I write this then I have to just do the copy and paste again and I want to write now to the first location right so basically the first location is to write the second right and writing the first location uh, I need to use this function decimal to bcd because we will write the decimal so I'm just copy and paste this and I would going to pass the variable okay here and I'm going to name this as a second so whatever value that you put here that will be pass it here as a decimal and it will convert and then write into the RTC chip DS1307 so I'm going to copy this and 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 perfect and then this will be minute this will be hour this will be day date and make sure this all are in the sequence right because they are the word address so if you miss the sequence your data will be wrong or maybe some garbage value right and finally we say wire dot and e and d transmission I have to learn English right my English is very bad and finally we say write all those seven addresses with the seven value that we pass into this function and finally we say the stop bit and transmission so we take this set time function copy it and then use it into the void setup function so I'm just going to use this function here and the first parameter is the second I would give the second is zero minute is let's say a uh, three minutes and uh, the hour is uh, let's say if if it's a 24 hours clock then it's a 16 okay and uh, then uh, you have to say the day is a Friday so five uh, fifth day of a week and then uh, I have to have the let's say date is one and then it's a May so five fifth month in a year and year is 2020 so this are the uh, seven parameters okay and uh, let me just upload the code and see if we can able to set the timing and read the data and you see now let me just minimize it and you see we are started getting this seconds in life and then it's the three minutes it's maybe changed on my laptop but that's okay and this is a 16 in the afternoon so 24 hours clock and then fifth day that's a Friday and then you know first of May 2020 I'm just recording this lesson okay so that's how you can able to read and write to RTC module I would urge you to check out my courses on binaryupdates.com slash courses for high quality training material if you want to learn and if you want to help me just put the like and subscribe button use I hope you will find this video educational and entertaining. Probably we'll see us into the next lesson. Thank you very much.